Alrighty, so we got another Nilfgaard game. Uh, and this one is particularly interesting because of Azir, or Asir, whatever it is. Uh, so this is a Town Strength Silver that will allow you to put two cards back, two cards from the graveyard back into either your deck or your opponent's deck. Uh, and there's kind of a bit of a bug here, which is difficult to tell which graveyard is which, but that's, you know, please fix, and then we'll move on. Uh, but anyway, so it can be kind of difficult to really get full value out of this card because, I mean, despite it being a 10 Strength Silver, but... To really push this card into belonging in your deck, you need to be able to manipulate the graveyard in a efficient way or effective way, rather. Uh, and usually, you know, you play this, you put Roach back into your deck. Maybe you put something like Yakim or like a Nazica Brigade or a Rot Tosser or something like that, which is all fine and good. You know, you get some good value out of that, but you can do potentially a significant amount of damage to your enemy if you can put it like a dead card back in their deck from their graveyard. Uh, an example of this would be like, like a Queen's Guard and a discard uh, Skellige deck, right? You put the Queen's Guard back in the deck, it, they have to draw into it, and it kind of works like a revive, but it, also they're taking it out of their revive pool. Uh, in a, it's a, an immediate effect. And then you have effects like what I'm about to do right here, after I try, <laughs> I try and figure out which which graveyard's which. That's a, I know there's like some kind of workaround, there's, I don't know what it is. I forget what it is, rather. I kind of make a guess based on, uh, whoops, I don't know what that did, but anyway. I just kind of make a guess based on, uh, like in the ordering of the graveyard, you can tell like, okay, this is, this is obviously my graveyard because I played these cards and they didn't, right? Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Like I didn't, I didn't play, uh, like an Elzer's Thunder on this side of the graveyard where this roach is, so I know not to pick this one. It can be a little bit tricky though, and I've definitely had it backfire on me before, which is not fun, but anyway. So I, this is the second option, right? To hit like a, a dead card that you kind of thin out of your deck naturally, uh, like an Imperial Golem, uh, the pirate dude from Discard Skellige that's a uh, six strength. Um, if you put it back into the deck, it's a lot weaker usually than what they're already gonna have in that, uh, normally, right? And of course, you don't want to use this on a card that they can actually use effectively, like, I don't know, a Rot Tosser or an Imperial Brigade or something like that. So it's something to kind of be wary of. But at the same time, you can hit on some ridiculous value. Actually, I'm not even sure I would have won this game if I hadn't put the Imperial Golem back in their deck. And you'll see that in just a moment. Not usually do you get to see... Such an effective and brutalizing payoff from Azir. In fact, it usually doesn't happen. I'm usually content with just pulling back like a roach or, uh, you know, on the off chance and be kind of disrupting their draw. Um, and uh, in addition to that, like, if they can, if they, if they draw it naturally, they can mulligan it. But if they use this guy right here, <laughs> they're going to draw right to that. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Did I misremember this? Oh, wait. I misremembered this. I thought he drew into the Imperial Golem. <laughs> ah, so that I actually gave him two strength. <laughs> well, anyway, you can kind of you can kind of get the idea. I, I don't know why I misremembered that so bad. This only happened today. But anyway, so if he had drawn into the Imperial Golem first instead of the uh, the emissary, which is effectively already a dead card in the situation then he would have just only gotten the two strength. Wait, no, it's good that he drew into the Emissary first because it gives me two strength. Yeah, okay. I didn't misremember this. I mean, I kind of did, but... No, wait, if Imperagol wasn't in his deck, though, I wouldn't... He wouldn't have gotten two strength. I just would have gotten this by. But anyway, uh, but you can see how... You, you can see an, uh, an example of when the opponent drawing a card can be... Disrupted by Azir putting putting, yeah, putting the card back into the deck. Also, I kind of misplayed that. I should have played the spy first and then did the swipe, but it's not a big deal. I still want <laughs> it was calculated. I promise. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Using Azir to disrupt your opponent's draws in creative ways. <laughs> 